Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Jones. I'm a reconstructive and cosmetic surgeon. In my practice, I've helped thousands of people feel more confident about themselves. In this episode, you're gonna learn all about tummy tuck. That's right, also known as abdominoplasty. It's one of my most requested and most performed cosmetic surgeries at Lexington Plastic Surgeons. I've been doing it for over two decades. For those that don't know much about the procedure or are looking to learn if it's right for them, you've come to the right place. Welcome to my show. The tummy tuck. You've probably heard of it. It's one of the most sought after cosmetic procedures. Why? Because many people struggle with their weight and maintaining that coveted flat stomach. Everyone wants to look their best and have their clothes fit just right, and a tummy tuck can make this possible. The main reason women seek out this procedure is due to pregnancy and the consequences following a pregnancy. Women are left with stretch marks and those stretching of the abdominal muscles and the diastasis and space between the muscles that leads to bowing in that muffin top. After having kids, that procedure makes permanent changes to your body. Surgery is the only way to fix this. For others, weight loss can actually create extra hanging skin that won't tighten back to the body no matter how much exercise you do. Imagine losing 100 pounds only to still have a curtain of skin hanging off your body. Similar to a Brazilian butt lift, you are getting two procedures in one with the tummy tuck. Liposuction around the abdomen and the sides, plus cutting and removing the excess skin that hangs over your stomach, which we call the panis. Depending on the patient, the surgery can take anywhere from two to three hours. When it's all over, you instantly have a flatter stomach, and you should be a few pounds lighter. In this episode of The Doctor Is In, we'll cover our approach to tummy tucks and hear from a patient that had a similar surgery that was actually covered by insurance. They just came in for their post-op and say the difference is life-changing. Before we continue, we have our shout-outs. Any surgery is a big deal and we appreciate you choosing Lexington Plastic Surgeons. The shout-out this week goes to Kira and her mom. Kira just had her keloids removed from her ears and they had some lovely words to share. Just seeing her feel more confident just makes me feel so much better. It's my baby. Now, if you're looking for a less invasive treatment, this episode we're highlighting the nano laser peel. For this skin procedure, we use the Cyton laser. It's a special light technology that exfoliates and removes the top layer of the skin to reveal more youthful, even skin beneath. It's commonly used on the face to treat acne scars and improve texture, but you can use it on problem areas all over the body. Think of it as a more effective form of microdermabrasion. It can remove dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, sun damage, and you can even out pigment and skin discoloration. So it can pretty much benefit anyone. There's minimal downtime, and you can do the procedure in about 10 minutes for a small area. Or for a large area like the legs, it can take up to 20 minutes. Aside from redness, one to two days after, followed by peeling, you should be looking great in no time but always use sunblock on treated areas if they are exposed to sunlight. A tummy tuck is an extremely successful surgical procedure that removes unwanted belly fat while also tightening your abdominal muscles. We start with liposuction around the abdomen and sides, and the lipo helps to loosen the skin around the stomach, which will be eventually stretched down below the belly button. Before we do that, we go into the ab muscles and tighten them, which gives the slimming effect in that more hourglass contour. Most adults over time have a loose abdominal wall due to pregnancy, age, or body type, and this part of the procedure cinches the waist and really flattens the stomach. Clothes will fit better, and workouts and mobility improve drastically without the extra skin. One of the biggest concerns my patients have is, will a tummy tuck leave a scar? The answer is yes. But it's a scar that we strategically place below the waistline and just above the pubic bone. The scar will fade over time 
And with an experienced plastic surgeon, like all of the surgeons here at Lexington Plastic Surgeons, you're going to have an incision that is placed well below your underwear and swimsuit bottoms. And for patients that have had a C-section, we can work along that incision where we actually remove that C-section scar so that you only are left with one scar. Occasionally, we do a surgery called a paniculectomy. That is a tummy tuck, but without the abdominal muscle tightening. In some cases, a tummy tuck or paniculectomy can even be considered necessary by insurance if there are persistent issues like back pain, ulcers, rashes in their excessive skin area. Our guest today, Stacy, is a teacher. She just came back for a one-month post-op and is feeling fabulous. Stacy, talk to me about what made you want to get your procedure. I had a procedure called a paniculectomy which is the removal of excess skin. The difference between the tummy tuck and the paniculectomy is that with the tummy tuck, they suture your muscles, whereas with the paniculectomy, they just remove excess skin. Why did you choose Lexington Plastic Surgeons for your paniculectomy? I found out about Lexington Plastic Surgeons and my sisters were very supportive of my decision to get a paniculectomy. So we searched the internet, I get a call from my sister one evening and she said I found someone by the name of Dr. Michael Jones. What has your weight loss journey been like over the years? Did numerous workouts. I also dieted. I had the lap band. I did everything I could and I did lose the weight. I lost 105 pounds, but I just never saw the excess skin, the hanging skin leave me. Why choose a paniculectomy over a tummy tuck? The reason why I chose the paniculectomy over the tummy tuck was because my insurance paid for the paniculectomy. How did you feel immediately after surgery? I felt like a totally different woman. The first thing I did when I was in recovery in the recovery room was I felt my stomach and I didn't feel anything and I felt good. What do you have to say to anyone looking to do a procedure like this? I'm already three weeks post-op and I'm feeling great about myself now. I can imagine how I will be feeling in a year thanks to you, Dr. Jones. Before we end the show, let's get to a question from one of our viewers in our Ask Dr. Jones segment. Dr. Jones, how soon after my tummy tuck can I start exercising and doing yoga? For most of our patients, we recommend at least two weeks off from work. Now, then a lot of our patients want to know, when is it okay to start doing exercise? Well, we tell them typically that you can start doing non-core exercises generally around the four to six week point. But if you start doing core exercises too soon, you're going to tear right through those muscles or tear those muscles through the stitches that we place to tighten everything. So we really don't want you to do core exercises until probably your 10 to 12 week point. That's when it's best because at that point those muscles will have scarred in and now they can tolerate the real big core exercise. And if any of you want to drop me a line, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag AskDrJones. Okay, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed our show and learned something new. Be sure to tune in for more episodes and check out our Instagram and YouTube channels for live surgery and so much more. What's up? What's up? What's up?